Today I am discussing about introduction to organic synthesis, retro analysis, strategy and control. So first of all, retro analysis or retro synthesis. Retro synthesis is a problem solving technique for transforming the structure of synthetic target molecule to a sequence of gradually simpler structure along the pathway which finally leads to simple or commercially available starting material for chemical synthesis. Simply it is the reverse of the synthesis. For synthesizing a target molecule, a synthetic route must be designed to give a pure sample of the target molecule using a convenient and efficient procedure. This procedure is usually designed by knowing the synthetic route of the target molecule. Usually the best practices to devise a number of different routes for a given target molecule and compare them to select the best one since the time spent is scheming and synthesizing is far less than the uh, spent in the laboratory. Now uh, we discuss uh, further retro synthesis is uh, in other words a logical approach for synthesizing the organic molecule. It is simply also known as disconnection and involving another process known as functional group inversions. This disconnection approach or retro analysis is the simply reverse of the synthetic background. We can say that retro synthesis is the process of the synthesizing design which start with the product and work backward towards the starting material. Uh, as we know that it is the uh, reverse of the synthesis. Now uh, we will discuss some important concept involved in the retro synthesis. The very foremost concept is disconnection. Disconnection is reverse operation to a synthetic reaction. The imagined cleavage of bond is used to convert molecule to synthetic precursor. And the second one which is most important functional group interconversion. In this process we will convert one functional group into another functional group by any means like substitution, addition, elimination, reduction or oxidation. In both processes disconnection and functional group inversion we move towards the target molecule and we have to synthesize the target molecule by the smallest root and go to the simple synthons. Now the next one is synthetic strategies choosing the way along the retro synthetic tree synthetic planning we have to plan and uh, familiar about the several disconnections synthetic tactics uh, or the specific bond or set of bond at a given site can be efficiently created. And synthesis backward the process of breaking down the target molecule into available starting material by disconnection or functional group inversions. This uh, retro analysis idea come from the professor E.J. Corey. He was awarded Nobel Prize in 1990 in chemistry. He introduced the terms of retro synthetic analysis and was first to state the principle formally. Retro synthetic analysis planning. And there are several steps in the planning. First one often the sequence of transformation that would lead to the desired compound is too complex for us to see a path from beginning to end. We envision the sequence of step that is required in backward fashion one step at a time begin the identify immediate precursor that could be transformed to the target molecule. Then identify the next step of precursor in which we will see that the precursor could be used to make the immediate target molecule and the repeat the process until compound that is sufficiently simple that are readily available in the laboratory or we have the in the list of the reagent molecule. The retro synthetic arrow is a double lined arrow used to indicate reverse of synthetic reaction. This arrow is often used for the reverse of senses. The synthon is the simple molecule which that is usually cation or anion that is uh, obtained after the disconnection and this synthon is when available in the target uh, molecule list then it is known as the reagent and it is carrying out the function of synthon. 
next the few these are the few guidelines for choosing the disconnections disconnection must correspond to reverse of real and workable reaction the reverse and real workable reaction means that the reaction can be proceeded we know that every forward reaction and its reagents are known the compound consisting of two parts joined by heteroatom disconnect next to the heteroatom and that is very important always choose the atom which is near to the heteroatom and we will first prefer the disconnection from the heteroatom then consider alternate disconnection and choose route that avoid chemoselectivity problems chemoselectivity problems are uh, often seen uh, during the synthesis as well and we have to avoid the chemoselective problem problems which uh, in which we have um, made the reactive group to be react first and the less reactive group to be react at the last next evaluate all possible advantages and disadvantages of each path determine the most efficient route for synthesis and this is a very essential step in which uh, we will we have to identify the several routes and identify the best route for the disconnection evaluation is based on specific restriction and limitation of reaction in the sequence the availability of material and factors this evaluation is based on several restrictions which are available in the synthesis like uh, reaction condition catalyst temperature and other conditions necessary for the reaction and in reality it may be necessary to try several approaches in laboratory in order to find the most efficient and successful route for this purpose we have to investigate the best approach to get the maximum yield and without the formation of side product as well for example consider the following example in which uh, this this is a compound we have to go for its retroanalysis first of all we have to find the uh, bond which is near to the heteroatom we have to break it and uh, the most essential step is here the functional group inversion that is dehydration we have to hydrate the bond and after dehydration we will get the double bond when we will hydrate there will addition of uh, oh group and hydrogen at that pi bond is seen next we have the other step uh, which is the bond breaking step here the disconnection is carried out near to the heteroatom or uh, near to the hydroxyl group and we will get the these two types of synthon the first synthon is here is a cation and the another is anion and these synthons are most preferably obtained from the synthetic equivalent like uh, this type of ketone and this type of uh, any uh, other aldehyde or ketone here so you can see that uh, this these synthons are easily these synthetic reagents are easily available and these synthons are obtained from the these synthetic reagents now we can say that there is a uh, whenever we will discuss disconnection we have to find such type of evidences these are the few references thank you